fabulous young. So tell me, what was the thought behind the fragrances and the silver wheel and the ladies of the lake? Where, where, where did it come from? How was it born? Well, I suppose it really starts with the idea of Avalon. Glastonbury is obviously the ancient Isle of Avalon. And the myth of King Arthur and his knights, etc. I like to say to people that behind every good knight there was a good woman. And if you start reading the stories of Arthur, especially in the French style oh, rather yeah. than just the English style, you see that a lot of emphasis is placed upon the female characters. Lady of the Lake, that's generally how we say Lady of the Lake, but actually it was a composite group of people, probably priestesses that were in this area, 12 of them, one representing each of the month, the 13th was really the moon. And that gives you, as a, an artist, because perfume is about art, Mm. Uh, the idea of creative inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, can I, can do I please I have a look at that. Yes, please do that. that Thank you. Well, Thank you. The, the section is called Ladies of the Lake, and um, it's a way of choosing perfume, which you can see from here how to find your personal per perfume. Basically, there are four steps. You look at one of the ladies along the line and say, which one is the colours, which one appeal to me? And you choose that one, take a fragrance spill, uh, like so, and you pop it into the fragrance. Do I like it? Don't I like it? Does it appeal to me? Well, it represents the colour. That's the point. Uh, colour color is a vibration. Perfume is a vibration. But the key to things is to then go to the silver wheel. Now the silver wheel shows the opposite fragrance to the one that you've chosen. You go back to simple things. Most of us, when we come to fragrance, either we like or we don't like. Most things that we don't like end up becoming, strangely enough, the things we do like. It's a bit like cabbage when we were a child. So, take your time in choosing a perfume. Uh, in the Fragrant Earth store, uh, there are seats there where you can sit down and really think about the perfume because they change over time. Each has a top note, and a heart note, and a bass note, and they change within the time. Put it in your pocket, take it outside, come back. But what you will find is that the two fragrances that you you, the one that you've chosen and the one that the wheel has suggested to you are probably the ones that you'll end up buying.